here this is our oval this is our egg and our egg has this egg i'm talking about this one right so this egg has a protective layer surrounding it which is called zona pellucida right this is very tough and gel like structure which is called zona pellucida and the zona pellucida is actually made up of the glycoprotein the main purpose of the glycoprotein sorry the main purpose of the zona pellucida is to provide nutrition to the cell because its vital role is to provide nutrition to the cell because the zona pellucida itself is becomes with the glycoprotein after the zona pellucida these finger like projections or these right so these corona radiata and these zona pellucida are actually for the protection of the cell underneath right so when now we will discuss about the different functions of the zona pellucida right so when the sperm will approach over here this is the red marker is a sperm this sperm is you get uh, as i told you earlier that billions of sperms you can say at the uterus or at the before the fertilization before meeting with the egg millions of the sperms are there and millions of the sperms are suspended over here in the way of this uterus and cervix right so you can say over hundreds of the uh, you can say the sperms will reach with its destination which is the ovum which is the unfertilized egg so 200 or you can say 150 or 200 of the sperms will reach over here for the fertilization but out of these 150 or 200 sperms only one sperm which is the fittest one because you know the survival is just for the fittest this is the rule so the fittest sperm only one will fertilize this unfertilized egg right so when this fittest sperm will reach over here it will cross the corona radiata and then it will hit the wall of the zona pellucida here there are two major functions there are three major functions of the zona pellucida the first which i have discuss, discussed that the zona pellucida itself is being is made up of the glycoprotein and this glycoprotein will nourish the whole cell this is the first function of the zona pellucida and the next function is zona pellucida is you can say uh, sperm specification if this is the human reproductive system human female reproductive system the zona pellucida of the female reproductive system will allow only the human sperms not any other species right if any other sperm of the and other species other than the human will come here the zona pellucida will not allow that sperm to penetrate so the zona pellucida is only allow the sperm of the human to meet with the egg right so this is called uh, you can say uh, sperm specification the sperm of the male human being are the are specified to meet with the egg so uh, another function of the uh, zona pellucida is it prevents the uh, you can say polysomy you can say you, as you know the male genetic material has 23 of chromosomes This has 33 chromosomes in the male genetic material, right? And if you talk about the female genetic material, the female genetic material has 23 of the chromosomes. So both of the genetic materials of these female and male genetic material will meet after the fertilization, right? This is getting the fertilization. So after the fertilization. the genetic material of the male and the female will meet over here and then this will happen 46 chromosomes will occur over here 
and this is called zygote. The single cell, the unique single cell is called zygote, which is carrying the 46 chromosomes. And now this 46 chromosomes carrying cell, which is the single cell, have every specification, every characteristics of a human being, like the, it has now the different eye color, the information of the different eye color, the information of the different hair color, the difference of the skin color, the personality, everything. These 46 chromosomes are having every characteristics, every property of a human being. So this is called zygote. Hope this is making sense and in other lecture we will discuss the further detail of the human development. See.